turns to me and says, Kyle, what are you afraid of the most? I'm taking an ice bath at 49 degrees and I'm hopping back into another bath at 110 degrees. And my friend is sitting there and he sits there for 15 minutes in the 49 degrees water, shivering, cold. And he looks at me and says, Kyle, what are you afraid of the most? And as I pause in fear of answering his question and my mind runs away and I laugh out of nervousness, in my mind, I turn around and I lean into his question. And I look and I say, losing my family, having Megan leave, having my girls not know who I am and not know their father. That's my biggest fear. Many people will tell you it's a sign of weakness to share your greatest fears or your struggles or your biggest struggles. And I believe if there's power in your weakness, because when we are weak, he is strong, God is strong. And I'm gonna give you three steps on discovering the power that you didn't know that you had access to in sharing your weakness. And the first step is in sharing your weakness, you will discover that your weakness, when you are weak, God is strong. 2 Corinthians 12, 9. When we share our weakness, it allows us to connect with others. And when you share your weakness, you discover a power you didn't know you didn't know you have, and it will allow you to live out your purpose. Those are the three steps, and we're gonna dive in right now. So the first step is sharing your weakness. When you are weak, he is strong. And there's scripture to back that up, 12.9. This is Paul. This is 2 Corinthians 12.9. And Paul is, is pleading to God, like, take this thorn away from me. He pleads with him three times. And he says, this is what God told him. And he answered me, my grace is always more than enough for you and more power finds its full expression through your weakness. So I will celebrate my weakness. For when I'm weak, I sense more deeply the mighty power of Christ living in me. So I'm not defeated by my weakness, but delighted. He's delighted in his weakness because he finds power in it. Because he knows that strict God will, will give him everything he needs. And it says, for when I feel my weakness and endure mistreatment, when I'm surrounded with troubles on every side and face my persecution because of my love for Christ. How many people are facing more persecution in this world because of their love for Christ? I am made yet stronger for my weakness because it becomes a portal to God's power. I'm gonna read this last part. I am made yet stronger for my weakness becomes a portal to God's power. Your weakness is a portal to God's power and will allow you to access power and authority that you never knew that you had access to because you're willing to share, because you're willing to be vulnerable. And that leads us into step number two, because when you share, you allow yourself to be connected to other people, letting you know that you're human and that you have struggles just like everybody else. And it's an open door to speak into that person's life because your struggle, even though it was meant for harm and to hurt you, it's being used for good. And when you share, and you're vulnerable allows healing to start to take place because we bury it and we don't realize all the pain, all the suffering, all the hurt affects your other relationships with your spouse, with your kids, with your boss, with your employees. Step number three, when you are weak, you live out your purpose. When we are weak, it puts us in a place of vulnerability. It puts us in a place of humility. It puts us in a place on full in a place of full surrender. Because when you're fully surrendered, you're operating not out of your power, but out of God's power. It allows you to live out your purpose. It allows you to speak in other people's lives. It allows you to change this world. Because that pain turns in to power, which turns into purpose. So what I'm gonna encourage you to lean in to that question. What are you afraid of the most? What is your biggest fear? What is your biggest struggle? Is it the fear of losing everything that you have? Is it the fear of facing your past? Is it the fear of sharing what's happened to you because the people who are supposed to love you the most have hurt you the most? Is it fear sharing your addiction, pornography, your addiction to sex, your addiction to this world, this addiction to, to drugs, to alcohol? Is it sharing that in your weakness? You will find the strength, you will find power that you didn't know that you had access to. And so I want to encourage you, put in the comments below, what's your biggest fear?